Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Inner Circle. I'm going to talk to you about Chopard LUC GMT watches today. We're going to start with a recent model. This was introduced just a couple of years ago as a limited edition uh, in 250 pieces. And in terms of its aesthetics, it's really unusual for Chopard LUC because this manufacturer, which has distinguished itself um, by having a cost certification for every single watch that comes out of them, and uh, their watches carrying, for the most part, the hallmark of Geneva. And again, by that standard, they also produce a lot of times watches that feature classic design. And sure enough, the other two examples from this particular presentation are very much embodying that classic style. But this is where Chopard and Lucie tries something different um, with a 42 millimeter ceramized titanium case that allows the watch to have a very distinctive black aesthetic or rather an aesthetic that is in so many different shades of gray. You also have a textured hybrid leather strap that complements that sporty look with contrast stitching as well. You have an inner 24 hour bezel that allows for a reference time in relation to the um, 24 hour hand. And finally, you have a 42 millimeter case again in ceramized titanium, which completes the look, especially in relation to that two tone silver dial, which is grain brushed at the center. And of course, you have a 24 hour ring once again that can be, that functions as. Um, rotational bezel and that has that separation between day and night. A silvery gray for the day. And black for the night. This piece is listed here completely as an unworn example, the GMT-1 Black Limited Edition can be yours on Corona 24 for 10,250 in US dollars as a full set. This professional dealer also remains open to offers. Now for something a little more classic. This is also in the form of a reissue. 16 slash 1867 GMT in 18 karat white gold. As you can see, the aesthetics are much more in line with what we are used to see from Chopin. And in fact, the watch looks pretty much like this particular piece, the time and date version, Chopin and Lucie 1860, that was just reissued uh, 
this year in a slightly modified stainless steel case with a salmon dial. Now, unlike that uh, time and date version, this piece is in a 38 millimeter case rather than 36 and a half. Here, we have it in white metal. So in 18 karat white gold, we have a chevron dial with those uh, spare heads like indices a beautifully uh, scooped rosette-like pattern at the center of the dial, which is executed in guilloche, in the classic Chopin style. You have an additional 24-hour hand on a sub-dial, which I think is actually a cool execution, especially because you have that two-tone silver gray um, division, a heat blue 24-hour hand, the LUC counterweight on the centrally deployed sweeping seconds hand, Dauphine hands for hours and minutes, and finally the date through an aperture at three clock. It's a very beautiful watch built on that classic caliber 96 base of LUC that took about five years to design for Michel Parmigiani. much more classic design, smaller case at 38, and a guilloche dial that exemplifies Chopin's house style. This particular piece is also found as a full set on Chrono 24, even though it is in worn condition, used but not abused. On a fresh Epsom style strap with contrast stitching that I think gives the watch both a casual and distinguished look. This piece is listed for 11,000 99 in US dollars, but the seller, who is a private seller out of Hong Kong, remains open to negotiation as well. And finally, we have a piece that's a little dressier, a little more jewelry like, perhaps a little statelier. Same piece. Same 38 millimeter case, but this time executed in pink gold. Same guilloche dial that includes all those details, both on the center dial as well as the sub dial for the 24 hour hand. But this time in a beautiful, stunning black, which I think is a beautiful contrast and complement to the pink gold case. Once again, we have the chevron dial with those spare head um, indices, a beautifully scalloped rosette pattern at the center guilloche, two contrasting guilloche uh, patterns for the 24 hour sub dial, which not only make 
the distinction between day and night. But here, especially in this execution, which contrasts uh, shade of champagne with uh, light gray, it also kind of looks like a scene of sunrise, which is beautiful. Once again, you have the Dauphine hands for the hours and minutes and that spare like seconds hand with the LUC counterweight to maintain the balance and visual cohesion of the dial. The date wheel has a black background which matches the dial color and the date is printed in white. Again, another beautiful piece. This time, it is a little more than a decade old. But the piece is quite well preserved and looks very distinguished. Dressiest of them all, most certainly. The two precious metal versions were also uh, limited edition, so to speak, but one of 1860. So uh, it's not like they are extremely scarce, but they're still pretty special and relatively exclusive, like any Chopin LUC watch. This particular example is listed on Chrono 24 for 13,573 US dollars by a professional dealer out of the UK who entertains offers as well. The LUC Classic GMT 16-1867 in 18 karat pink gold case with a black dial built on the micro rotor caliber 96 base. My pick of the litter, which is the same watch in a white gold case and a silvered Yoshi dial. And the more contemporary GMT one black in a 42 millimeter ceramized titanium case. Thank you again for being one of my most loyal supporters. Thank you for staying with me. I really, really appreciate you. If you have any questions about these particular listings, about LUC Chopin as a brand, about the manufacturer in Geneva or Fleurier, or any watch-related questions at all, you can reach out to me directly on Patreon. You can, of course, always write me an email at lordhellespont5th at gmail.com. That's lordhellespontv at gmail.com. And, of course, you can find me on Instagram at young.brando. Thank you again for everything. I look forward to seeing you on the live stream. Later today, I'll send you the numbers for the drawing which will actually happen on the live stream tonight that we will have right after our after the unboxing with our friend here the squatch box look forward to seeing y'all take care